Think California, and you think of laid-back surfer dudes, palm trees, vegan taco trucks, and progressive politics. This is Greg Pallast in Los Angeles. Will California's strange primary rules steal the big win from Bernie Sanders. Last month, the Golden State sent out 3,715,369 ballots with no presidential candidates, most at risk, young voters and Latinx voters, the core supporters of Tio Bernie. The result, 553,000 Bernie Sanders supporters are at risk of losing their right to vote for their candidate. How did this happen? While California votes solidly Democratic in general elections, a huge 5 million Californians register independent, marked NPP for no party preference. These NPP legal voters have the legal right to vote in the Democratic primary. But good luck trying. Many will lose their right. How? Last autumn, the state mailed all 5 million independents a postcard telling them they can ask for a Democratic ballot. Looks like junk mail. Only 1 in 11 return the cards. Because students move a lot, less than 5% of 18 to 24-year-olds get and return the cards. Likewise, only 5% of Latinx voters return the card. Statistician Paul Mitchell calls this disenfranchisement by postcard. Mitchell is vice president of Political Data Inc., the experts used by both political parties. Mitchell polled these NPP voters and found over 2 million want to exercise their right to vote in the Democratic primary, but could lose their right because they're clueless how to get a Democratic primary ballot. Up to 86% of independents who want to vote in the Democratic primary could be locked out. Not only is Sanders likely to lose half a million votes, so is another favorite of independents, Michael Bloomberg. He could lose 382,000 votes. Independents can save their vote by bringing in their NPP ballots into the polling station and exchange it for a Democratic ballot, but not a regular ballot, only something called a crossover Democratic ballot. But you must know the magic word, crossover. Jen Abreu was a poll worker. They have to specifically then ask, I would like to have a Democratic crossover ballot. And those were the words that were told to us in our poll worker training. And if this NPP voter did not specifically ask for a Democratic crossover ballot, they were given an official NPP ballot, which did not list presidential candidates on there. But the Democratic Party rules say the poll worker cannot help the voter who does not know the magic word crossover. And I am unable to ask you, are you sure you want an NPP ballot? Who's behind this mass vote suppression by postcard and secret word? It was crafted by the Democratic National Committee and enforced by California's Democratic Secretary of State, this man, Alex Padilla who benefits from this system, candidate Joe Biden, who is endorsed by Alex Padilla. In Los Angeles, this is Greg Palast.